Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story. I'm here with Mark Johnson. Mark, nice to see you. Nice to see you. How are you? Good. Good. Let's grab the cameras. I usually do. Come with me and come here, Mark. What do we have here today? It's a 64 Thunderbird that uh, my son won in a raffle on his 20th birthday. Your son won this in a raffle. <laughs> How long ago was that? It was uh, two weeks ago, Sunday. Two weeks ago. It's fresh. <laughs> yes. Okay. And that's kind of what my car story is all about. It's not just the car. Can you believe he won it in a raffle? So let's take a look at the side of this. My speaker is right here, so you need to be right with me. So tell me, how does it feel driving this with your son? Beautiful, beautiful. I mean, can it get any better? No. no. Not really, and, right? And uh, you didn't hear part of the story is... Tell me uh, it. His grandfather was a Ford mechanic for 40 years, and he's the only one in the family that doesn't have a classic Ford. Your son? Yes. Until now? Until now. His uncle will be here tonight with his Mustang. His other uncle's got his Galaxy convertible, and now Ryan's got his T-Bird. And this was, um, this is just, uh, now this is a church raffle. Yes, uh, my drag cleaners were selling raffle tickets for her local church, and I bought one for $20. I came home, and my wife, the daughter of the Ford mechanic, said, you only bought one ticket for $20? So I bought her one, and then I noticed that the raffle was on July 27th, which was my son's birthday, and you only had to be 18 to win. So I bought him a ticket, and luck, as luck would have it, uh, he was the winner. Wow. Yeah. Pretty amazing. Wow, what a nice team. Uh, wow. Originally a California car, and an uh, airplane pilot was out there and bought it in 2007 for his wife. Brought it back, she's driven it for the last seven years, and he's had a lot of fun with it, and decided to donate it to his church. And he actually bought his wife a retro Thunderbird. But it brought it for his church. Well, donated it, to his church. it looks like it's all worked out nicely. Yes, it's all original. Factory air, power steering, power door locks. And this wheel spins over too. It's, cool. it's called a swing away wheel. Let's look at all the gauges that are in there. And that looks great. Wonderful console. <coughs> the rear vent. The Thunderbird. Look at the look at the interior from a seating perspective. A nice power, console power in the back. Um, the only thing added was the uh, Rear seat belts, which of course we didn't have rear seat belts in those days, but uh, they, they added those over the years. And even like the uh, push button here on the side yep. and the power seats. That's the, the glove box. The power yeah, seats. And let's just take one more dive in. You can see all the gauges from underneath the clock, left air, right air. The the odometer over on the side, and then the speed, and there's actually, it comes up through the center, kind of like a temperature gauge, more or less. Let's take a look under the hood, Mark. Okay. Okay. That's a uh, 390 cubic inch. It's a four power carburetor and uh, dual exhaust. Um, you can see some of the uh, some of the vacuum systems that they used back in those days were actually cans. That's great. Looks like a can. Yeah. You got the factory air. He replaced he replaced quite a few things in the engine, the alternators and those type of things. I'll tell you, he really made it a blessing for someone to get this car. Yeah, he sure did. I mean, uh, I hope this church really uh, did well. I'm yeah, sure this, they this did. This is kind of neat here. What they use for the windshield washer fluid back in those days, a vinyl, a vinyl bag as opposed to our, our cast, our, our plastic resin. Reservoir with the, some of the, some of the uh, 
they kept in really nice condition. And again, it looks like an air conditioner here too, right? Right. Yeah. yeah, so it's got all the features. Let's shut the hood and stand right next to it, Mark. Not a bad birthday present for a 20-year-old kid, eh? Yeah, thanks for being on My Car Story. Thanks, Lou. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story. I'm here with Dave. Dave, what's your last name? Felgenhauer. Felgenhauer, and Dave's actually a buddy of mine. We've done a couple of his cars. Take a look on the uh, website, you'll see some of those. But today's car, beautiful day here in the western suburbs of Chicago. Dave, what'd you bring today? Oh, it's a 1964 Jaguar XKE. And it's gorgeous. Enzo Ferrari himself said so one of the best designs of all time. I'll grab the cameras I usually do. Thank you, Judy. So let's jump back to the main attraction. Dave, come on back with me. Wow, how long you had it? Uh, I bought it, uh, partially restored in 1996. 1996, a partial restore. Restoration it's, was completed in 1999. Wow, and it's completely done now. And uh, I love the uh, the headlight covers. They're, you know, you can see the, the glass there on them. You can actually see the, the little mark there from the, from the cover that you usually couldn't see. And uh, why of all the cars in the world did you need a Jaguar? Well, it wasn't so much that I needed one at the time. I was looking for a project to work on. And a good friend of mine told me about a friend of his who had one he had partially restored and was ready to sell. He had some other home household project he wanted to do and he wanted to sell it. So long story short, we drove over to Cedar Rapids, Iowa, and I picked the car up there from him. This looks absolutely spectacular I love the wire rims and uh, the break the British racing green with the tan interior great color combo the first one was 61 if I'm correct mm -hmm. and then they uh, kept building them through some of the 70s but uh, looks fantastic what what kind of reactions do you get when you're driving this I mean it's all positive <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thumbs up. Little Austin Powers uh, uh, car here. Let's open up the uh, door here. Let's take a look at the uh, interior. Now, now I see hooks on by the door. Right up that latches the, um, the hood. hood? Okay. So those are hood latches. And we've got the, I'll do it that way so you can see that. Really enjoyable ornament right there in the center of the the steering wheel. No, it's good. We just turned that and we got the headlamps. The brake fluid light, got it. Up to 160. Look at the nice gauges it just dial in there. And since it's a convertible, we can see everything pretty pretty smoothly. And then we've got the I'll just show you the seats. And again, the perfect day with the, the metal holding that mirror up there. And a very sexy little windshield. One thing I like on the hood, as we see it here, you see there's like a little hood scoop venting. Let's open the hood, let's take a look. One big kind of clamshell opening. The straight six dual overhead cam. Interesting, right off the, the grill there and the, the venting that you could see coming from the front. These kind of, what are the, is this like a hood hole? Where does this? That goes into the heater. Into the heater. Okay, so right here, okay. And uh, has a little bit of a go-kart type feel with the yeah, suspension yeah. there. Very open. Mm -hmm uses torsion bar suspension as opposed to leaf springs. Spark plugs up the center. Mm -hmm. I like some of this little stuff like this. Oh, it looks great. Where's it? Where's like the? Uh, let me get on the other side. Let me take a look that way. Great, great louvers on the hood as you can see there. So good. Uh, and here's uh, what are these triple single carburetors? Yeah. You always hear stories about. I'm looking at the way it opens up on the hood there. Always hear a story about Jaguars and how difficult they are. How how difficult is it? As far as what keeping you know, it tuned? Yeah, keeping it tuned I and really, things. I keep hearing those same stories, and I have uh, uh, there's a gentleman in Oswego, Illinois, who restores these for a living, and he swears that once you get them 
tune, there's no problem with them. And I've had him tune them maybe twice now in um, eight years, nine years, and it really, you know, it holds the tune. I've never good, had any trouble good, with good, it. Good, good, good. And this is with the big air That's cleaner. That's the air cleaner. Yeah, Let's turn it on. Okay. Let's get a little sound. That's really neat how it's just champing up the center there. get in kind of oh, across the seal. Lean my foot in and over shut there. Like the little latch there that holds onto the door. Jude! Another latch. Push down on the corner. Yep, straight down. All you need, thank you. That's it. Are we ready? We're ready. Where would you like to go? Thanks. Let's go in the neighborhood real quick. So we, we've got uh, we got kind of the reaction. So when you're driving this, I mean, uh, it's got a very nice, smooth sound to it. Yes. How do you like uh, the shifting and everything else? It's very smooth. All the gauging get the feel of what it looks like as we're taking a little quick cruise around the block and so we'll, we'll jog around the neighborhood. Yeah, we'll just go around through the back. Yeah, sure. solid than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. uh, very solid. I was kind of expecting a little sway in the steering and uh, I didn't get that at all. I think that what they, I think the car basically in 1964, 65 was retailing for around four or five thousand dollars, which was quite a bit of money for sure. that time period. The only thing you do get with the wire wheels is a little bit of flex and you can feel that somehow sometimes. But like say for 1964, yeah, very solid to the car, very quiet road car. I mean, you could drive this on the highway, and I have done that. Very, very solid. Very, very stable. Getting a little of that wind noise, which is great. straight away. I just want to actually jump out and see you drive past me and I'm going to end it that way today. Okay. So uh, we're on the curve right now. But when we hit a straight, I'll let people kind of see it coming by. Got one coming up right in a second. All right. Straight, straight enough for you? Yeah, this is straight enough. Let me jump out for a minute. I want to get in front of you. I'm going to let you drive by me and I'll finish this that way. So there's the, the doors. Oh, I see. That's actually not part of the door. It's holding the windshield together. I'm actually going through it's a grab. Oh, it's a grab, so you can hold on to it. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. For those fade apart. <laughs> I'm going to say thanks for being on my car story right now. 
and then uh, I'll be right back. But I just want to see uh, want to see it drive by.